We've covered by this point kinematics and kinetics of particles. Now we're going to move on to the kinematics of plane rigid bodies. So first, let's define different types of motion that we're going to be covering. Number one is going to be translation. So there are two types of translation, rectilinear and curvilinear. So let's take a look at these oval egg shapes and we can put points on our plane rigid body here. And if you remember from my very first video, plane rigid bodies are just 2D objects that have mass, size, and shape, whereas particles only have mass. So plane rigid bodies are just 2D objects. So for our rectilinear motion, we're gonna have we're gonna have a line that connects these points that is gonna be both parallel and a straight across. So we could call this point A and B, and sometime later, our plane rigid body will move, and we're gonna have A prime and B prime. So the orientation of the lines connecting the points are not gonna change, and they're gonna remain parallel. Now for curvilinear translation, we're gonna have our same A and B, and we can say that our line will look like this, connecting our points. So for curvilinear translation, the line connecting our points will remain parallel, but it's not gonna be straight across because your plane rigid body is traveling along a curved path. So for translation, it's important to note that all points move the same. So the motion of any point on the object defines the motion of the whole object. So really this is nothing new so much from when we looked at particles because obviously with a particle it doesn't matter, you know, we're not looking at a 2G object and we're looking at a point on the object, the particle is, you know, that's it. So all points here move the same. So this is our simplest case of motion. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That really helps support my channel and helps me continue making videos for you guys. I'll see you next time.